Hey everybody and welcome to Bamboo Batu. Today we're talking about Big Bamboo. Bigger is not always better, but when it comes to Big Bamboo, it's pretty cool stuff, as we will see in the following presentation. So yeah, we're talking about Big Bamboo, also known as Giant Bamboo, or Timber Bamboo, or Massive Bamboo. Or if you need more synonyms, you can just refer to your thesaurus. There's many online reference tools you can check out, but there's really a lot of different words and it doesn't refer to any specific species of bamboo. Uh, the term timber bamboo usually refers to any kind of bamboo that gets more than say three or four inches in diameter and about 50 or 60 feet tall. So there are dozens of different species of timber bamboo out there that we could refer to as giant bamboo or just plain big bamboo. Um, <clears throat> Moso bamboo is one of the most popular species for cultivation. It's a Chinese variety, Phyllostachys edulis, sometimes called Phyllostachys pubens. It's a massive timber bamboo. It grows um, throughout China. It's very widely used for construction material bamboo flooring, most of the bamboo flooring that you see in hardware stores is coming from Chinese Moso bamboo. It's a running bamboo. It spreads and spreads and forms these kind of forests like you see in the picture. Really beautiful stuff. Um, it's one of many giant bamboos. There are many big bamboos out there. There are also a lot of small bamboos. There's dwarf bamboo. And this is an example of some bamboo of the genus Sasa. There's several different species of Sasa out there. Um, it's native to Japan primarily. And you can see here, it just forms like a, like a carpet, um, like a ground cover underneath the forest canopy. Um, pretty cool stuff right there. It's not what you usually think of when you think of bamboo. We think of these big giant poles, but this is like really pretty. Um, yeah, dwarf bamboo. Uh, and then there's all kinds of bamboo in between that's only, say, 5 feet tall, 10 feet tall, 20 feet tall, 30 feet tall. That's not quite big bamboo, but it's not quite dwarf bamboo. So let's get back to the big bamboo. Here's, uh, here it is again, Phyllostachys edulis moso bamboo in China. You can see it's very, very picturesque. Uh, it's a beautiful plant. It's amazing for sequestering carbon. It's amazing for building materials. And it's also very decorative. It looks looks beautiful in the forest. It looks good in a garden if you have enough space for it. Here's another species of Phyllostachys, Phyllostachys vivax, and that's um, Fred Hornaday right there, also known as myself, at a nursery in Sonoma, California, Sonoma County. Uh, I think it's in Santa Rosa which is the county seat of Sonoma County. And it's a great bamboo nursery. Check it out if you're in the neighborhood. Um, I was there, I was checking it out and I got a picture of some Phyllostachys vivax. They've got a lot of vivax there. They've also got some Moso. They've got, they've got an enormous selection of bamboo. Um, mostly not timber bamboo because timber bamboo is pretty big and cumbersome, but they do have a great grove. Phyllostachys vivax right there also known simply as vivax. It's a big, it's a big one. It gets about four or five inches in diameter, about 60 feet tall. Depends of course on your growing conditions, etc. but definitely a biggie. Um, some of the biggest of the big bamboos are the Dendrocalamus genus. Uh, this is a clumping species, tropical bamboo native to Southeast Asia, Indonesia. Dendrocalamus giganteus, as you can see from the name giganteus, it is gigantic. And gigantic was one of the names that we did not include in the list earlier from the list of synonyms. I forgot about that one, but yes, definitely. It's a giant, um, often referred to simply as giant bamboo. Um, but again, like I said, giant bamboo can refer to any of these different species that we're talking about today. Um, it's a great ornamental. Uh, it's used somewhat commercially, but it's more decorative. It's just a super pretty bamboo, but you need to be in, in a tropical habitat, tropical climate. If you want to grow it, and you can get away with this in Southern California, in Florida, definitely in Hawaii. But like I said, it's native to, to the tropics of Indonesia and, uh, Southeast Asia. 
really pretty stuff. I found some actually in Berlin, Germany, which is not a good place to grow tropical bamboo unless you have an amazing greenhouse, which the Berlin Botanical Gardens have. And so they were growing Dendrocalamus giganteus. They had a couple other varieties of Dendrocalamus there. I got these pictures, really cool stuff. It's just amazing to be under the bamboo like that. And especially in Berlin, Germany, you're not expecting to stroll into a grove of giant tropical bamboo. So that was a pleasant experience. Here's uh, here's the base of the plant. These are relatively small for the species. These are only looks like they're about four inches in diameter, but they can get they can get big. They can get six, eight, sometimes ten inches in diameter. Um, massive stuff. Um, if you want to know the biggest bamboo species of all, it's interesting trivia fact. But most of us consider that title belongs to Dendrocalamus sinicus, also known as Yunnan bamboo. It grows in the Yunnan province, southern China, also in northern Laos, where, where China and Laos come together. So you can probably find it a little bit in northern Thailand as well, that, that area of where, uh, where Southeast Asia and China come together. This stuff gets enormous. This will get 10 or 12 inches in diameter. Uh, I'm trying to plan a trip to Laos so I can track some of this stuff down because I'd really, I'd really like to check it out. I think it looks something like this. Perfect example of giant bamboo. I thought this might be Dendrocalamus sinicus. I'm not sure, but judging from the fuzzy, uh, the fuzzy nodes there, I don't think it is. I think it's a different species. Uh, this uh, this picture it doesn't identify the species, but if I had to guess, I would say maybe it's Asper. Um, hard to tell. Dendrocalamus Asper is one of the most widely grown of the giant bamboo species. This is a farm actually in Ecuador where Guadua bamboo is the timber, giant timber bamboo of, uh, of the native, uh, the native variety there, but they're actually growing Dendrocalamus Asper here, which is a uh, common commercial variety grown for building material, especially strong especially large. You can see these, these clumps here are pretty enormous. It's actually native to Southeast Asia and Indonesia, like so many giant tropical bamboo species. But, uh, like I said, that's in, um, that's Ecuador right there. Cool picture though. Love that picture. I use that picture a lot. So sorry if you've seen it before, but I just love that picture. Uh, here's a picture I came across recently. A friend of mine was in Maui and there's a great nursery there, Whispering Winds Nursery. If you're ever in Maui, check it out. This is some Dendrocalamus asper hitam. It's a subspecies of asper, um, known as black asper. Um, this guy here is actually an average size human, but he looks tiny next to this gigantic bamboo. Uh, there he is again. You can see more of the bamboo and you can only see his head cut off there. Um, don't worry. His head's not actually cut off. It's just cut off in the picture. Uh, no one was harmed to produce this video. Um, now that we cleared that up, yeah, check it out. You can see the black poles on there. The poles in the front that look whiter, that's the, uh, it still has the comb sheaths on the poles, that, that papery stuff that's wrapped around the new shoots. And as it matures and grows up, those, those paper, uh, that wrapping stuff, the comb sheets, that stuff is going to fall off. And then you'll see the, the dark, almost black combs on there. It's not as black as other black bamboos, not quite as black and shiny, but for a giant, giant bamboo, it's, it's pretty amazing. Giant black bamboo or uh, black, black asper is usually what it's called. Uh, here's another picture of some Dendrocalamus asper, just the, uh, the classic asper species sometimes called sweet bamboo. It's got some really tasty sweet bamboo shoots. Also sometimes called giant bamboo because like, like these other species, it is giant. And uh, sometimes called rough bamboo. That's because of the little, those furry little rings around the, um, the nodal joints, um, the, where the little segments are on the bamboo, um, the nodal joints, we call those. Um, Okay, so rough bamboo is one of the names for that because of those rough 
kind of rough rings on there. Uh, but it's especially an especially important and widely grown species around the world. They farm it in uh, throughout Africa, uh, South America, definitely in Southeast Asia, where it's native. Uh, it's a big one. Uh, when you harvest it, it's a lot of work to move it around. There's a whole uh, it takes a village, as you can see here. These guys are moving a couple couple poles of asper bamboo, and it's uh, yeah, it's a bit cumbersome. Um, great photo though, on that one. Another um, another type of giant bamboo, Giganticloa atter, uh, is native to Java and uh, Indonesia. It's a it's a tropical bamboo, not as big as some of these other ones, but it is it is very pretty. The name Giganticloa suggests it's going to be some giant bamboo. But uh, the species of this bamboo genus generally are not as big as the dendrocalamus bamboos that we looked at earlier, like Hasper and uh, Giganteus and Sinicus. Those are all dendrocalamus species. Uh, but the Giganticloa does include some pretty big ones. Um, here's another one. This is a member of the Bambusa genus, Bambusa laco, also called the Timor Black Bamboo. Uh, I've got a few different pictures of it there. Not as giant as the other ones, but definitely an interesting species. Good ornamental variety if you live in a tropical habitat, tropical climate, again, such as uh, Florida, Southern California. Southern California is not really tropical, but, but it's warm enough. Um, if you get a lot of freezes, if it's going to be a deep frost every winter, it's hard to grow, hard to grow these, these really truly tropical bamboos. Uh, again, if you live in Hawaii, you can grow all kinds of tropical bamboo. And there's some great bamboo nurseries in Hawaii and worth checking out. Um, here's some giant bamboo shoots. Bambusa bichiana is not usually considered or classified as a giant bamboo species, but it does produce shoots that are of gigantic proportions, as you can see here. Uh, it's commercially cultivated for the shoots, actually, because the shoots do get so big. And so that's a, that's a little taste of gigantic bamboo, big bamboo, timber bamboo. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let us know in the comments section. If you got questions or want to hear other topics about bamboo, let us know in the comments. Like the channel, share the page, click the buttons, do that stuff, and make Bamboo Batu your new favorite. We'll see you next time. Bye.